Richmond's downtown district is thriving as the dynamic capital of Virginia. But elsewhere, in neighborhoods across this former seat of the Confederacy, a long history of discriminatory policies has created deep and enduring challenges. Now, in these vibrant communities, leaders and residents are coming together to create innovative pathways out of poverty, to invest in the future by supporting children and families, and to build lasting partnerships for progress. The Office of Community Wealth Building is the only municipal office of its kind in the nation. Our task is to lead the comprehensive, community-wide effort to move thousands of Richmonders out of poverty. We have an aspirational goal to reduce the poverty rate by 40% by 2030 for adults and then 50% for children by 2030. The Center for Workforce Innovation is our more holistic approach to getting people employed. We're going to pull up the job description and then we're going to apply for it. We have at least 300 people a week who walk in our office and these are folks who maybe have given up on looking for a job or face some of those barriers that have prevented them from finding a job that works for them. So type that up here. We hope that with each passing day as they go through training or interact with their case managers there, people see more hopeful possibilities for what they can accomplish as a citizen in Richmond. There are 12,000 people living in public housing, and more than just that many people living in public housing, they're living in densely concentrated areas of poverty. It would be like a copay. With hands that they won't be. Community health workers are residents who know firsthand the challenges of life in, uh, in public housing. We're helping people navigate the wealth of resources here in Richmond. A community health worker would try to help you tear down the barriers to health. That is ultimately my general mission to make self-sufficient and healthy and thriving. The Peter Paul Development Center focuses on after-school engagement of youth, but really pulls families into that process. We have access to over 300 children and families in the community. We're making the connections between the families and an array of resources in the community. Everything from housing resources to health and wellness, of course, educational initiatives. The Junior Iron Chef RVA program and competition is a program that engages the child first. We teach the kids culinary skills and nutrition education, and they take that information and knowledge back to their families. Historically, there haven't been community members at the table. It's been a top-down conversation. I think that if we really want sustainable change to happen in communities, then the solutions to community problems have to come from the community itself. I am encouraged by some of the recent collaboration that I've seen, especially around health equity in the city. I am seeing some signs of progress with parading more of the voice of the community. I'm incredibly optimistic about what's happening in this city. It's an affirmation of a new way of thinking of different sectors working together, but at the end, keeping the community that we're serving at the center. And it's an affirmation of a new day in the city.